welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Start the day with a tidy cafe. <laughs> no sign of Ben yet, though. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> Ben's not here at the moment, but he won't be long. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, ben could not make it today. He is a bit busy, so he has asked me to take his place. My name is Pierre Francois. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at his face. I'm sure I've seen him before. <laughs> hey, why are you staring at my face? You make me all shy. I'm sure I recognize him. Hang on, that's not Pierre, that's Ben. Hey, Ben, we know it's you. <laughs> oh, you saw through my clever disguise. I thought I could fool you. Well, your coat's different and so is your hair. <laughs> And your eyeglass makes you look really distinguished. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> In fact, your voice is very different. The only thing is, your face looks exactly the same. But I've been invited to a party where everybody has to dress in disguise. A disguise is when you change the way you look, so your friends don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? My disguise isn't very good. Don't worry, Ben, we'll find something. We'll have to worry about my disguise later, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Way! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, we've got three customers in our cafe today, Ben. Three? Wowee! <laughs> what do they look like? Well, there's a little one. A medium-sized one and a big one. Oh, give us another clue. They're very furry. <laughs> I'll guess in a minute. And they have horns coming out of their heads. <laughs> oh, I know who they are. They're the three billy goats gruff. You're right. The three billy goats gruff. Now, I wonder what billy goats would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out for a walk in the countryside when I met three billy goats. A big billy goat, a medium-sized billy goat, and a little billy goat. Hello, they bleated. We're the three billy goats gruff. The billy goats were very hungry, so I shared my packed lunch with them. We don't have enough grass to eat in this field, said the little billy goat gruff. I looked at the field on the other side of the bridge, and the grass was very green. Well, why don't you cross over? I asked. We can't, said the medium-sized billy goat. There's a nasty troll living under the bridge. He's going to gobble us up. I'm sure he wouldn't do that, I said. Come on. We started to trip, 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 trap over the bridge. But sure enough, the nasty troll appeared. Who dares to trip, trip, trap across my bridge? He bellowed. How am I supposed to get rid of my headache with all this trip, trap, trip, trapping? So that's why he's so angry, I thought. He's a troll with a sore head. Then I had an idea. I found some of the softest moss and I made... Mossy slippers for the little billy goat. Mossy slippers for the medium-sized billy goat. And mossy slippers for the big billy goat. Oh, yes. And I made a pair of mossy slippers for myself, too. Hee-hee. 
Wearing our mossy slippers, we pad, pad, padded across the bridge. And the troll didn't hear a thing. The goats were so pleased to be in the lush green field that they made the troll a pair of goat's wool earmuffs so that he'd never, ever be disturbed by trip, trip, trapping. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. So the three billy goats gruff feasted on tasty green grass thanks to your brilliant idea, Little Cook. But what can we cook for three billy goats? That's a good question, Ben. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Ooh, let's see! Aha! I found just the thing to remind the three billy goats gruff of their adventure. A baguette bridge! That's trip trap tremendous! <laughs> you read out the ingredients, little cook! And I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onions. Onions, over we go. Here we are. One onions, two onions, yep. A baguette. And what's a baguette? A long bread roll. Like this. Ho, oh, Oil. Here we go. Got the oil small. Sugar. Got it. Cider vinegar. Oh, yes. Here we are. That's in the cupboard as well. Yep. Cress. Here we go. Got the cress small. And goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Oh, right. OK. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. But I'm afraid we don't have any goat cheese small. Oh, no. But don't worry. Why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, look, they're goats. And that goat is being milked. This is the dairy where the goat's milk is made into cheese. That's an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Now the milk has been turned into curds and whey, it has to be cut up into little pieces using a special cutter. The whey is drained away. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> The curd is used to make the cheese. It's collected into moulds and put under a press until it is set. The cheese is taken out of its mould and put in a storeroom. Yummy, yummy! I'd better get back to the kitchen with some goat's cheese. Bye! <laughs> Blip, blip, blip. I'm an alien. Merk, merk. Blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. I'm back. Why are you hiding behind that colander, Ben? <laughs> it's my clever disguise. I'm an alien. <laughs> no time for that now, Ben. I've brought back the goat's cheese. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, good work, Small. That was amazing. Goat's cheese is made from goat's milk, you know. The goats were really pretty, and they had beards. <laughs> oh, I bet it's all lovely and creamy. Come on, then, Small, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe, and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy 
gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Baguette Bridge? You do. There were onions. Two, thinly sliced. A baguette. One, cut into three. Two short pieces and one long piece. Oil. Two tablespoons. Sugar. One tablespoon. Cider vinegar. Three tablespoons. Cress. A little for decoration. And goat cheese. Five slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I've heated the oil in a medium saucepan until it's nice and hot. Then... I'm going to pour in the onions and give them a good stir until the onions are coated in the oil. Mmm! I love the smell of yummy onions while they're cooking. I wonder if I can think up a clever disguise for Ben with this greaseproof paper. When the onions are golden, it's time to add the vinegar. There we go. Slip, slop. And then we can add the sugar. Plip plop. Give it a good old stir. Like this. And then we can cook them for another ten minutes until they're really golden. The crinkly crublet has landed. Throw down your spoons. I come in peace. <laughs> Is that you, Small? Yes, Ben. I'm trying to find you the perfect disguise. The only trouble is, I'm stuck. Can you try to unwind me? OK, here goes. <laughs> Thanks for thinking up the crinkly crumblet disguise for me, Small, but it looks a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, let's see if these onions are ready. Don't worry, Ben. I'll find you a disguise. Mmm, these look just right now, so I'm going to turn off the heat and then bring them across. There we go. And next, I'm going to take the two short pieces of baguette, which I've cut the ends off, like this, and pop them onto a baking tray. We can eat the other bits later. And then I'm going to take the long piece of baguette, which I've cut in half, like this, and I'm going to place that on the baking tray as well. And on top of that, I'm going to put the onions. And some more there. And next is the fun part. On go the slices of goat's cheese. Some there. And there. And another one there. And then another piece on there. Ho, 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 this looks yummy, small. <laughs> ha, ha, I'm a knight in shining armor and I'm ready to joust. <laughs> ah! What are you up to now, Small? Hey, hey, I'm trying out another disguise, Ben. I'm being a knight in shining armor. Now stand aside, my horse is ready to charge. <laughs> are you all right, Small? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I want to be a knight in shining armor. It looks a bit dangerous. Right. Let's get on with our baguette bridge. Now, we can pop it in the oven. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Open it up. 
And in it goes for 10 minutes. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. The cheese is melted now. But it doesn't really look like a bridge, Ben. It soon will. It's cool enough to touch, so I'm going to arrange the pieces of baguette on a plate like this in the shape of a bridge. There we go. And then I'm going to sprinkle some cress around the plate as a grassy riverbank. Wowee! That looks brilliant! Quick, Ben, let's give it to the three billy goats gruff while it's still nice and warm. OK, then. One baguette bridge coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs. The things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away. Ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell. If we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear. Let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around. Up and down. We've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes! And it looks like the Billy Goats Gruff enjoyed the baguette bridge. Look, Small, they've left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, thank you for the yumptious baguette bridge. Woohoo! We are enjoying our new field very much. Here are Small's mossy shoes that we left by the bridge in case the troll isn't wearing his earmuffs when Small visits us again. Whoopee! My little mossy shoes! I knew I'd left them somewhere. <laughs> oh, hang on, Small, there's more. Here's something to help with Ben's disguise. Big bleats from the three billy goats gruff. Ho-ho! <laughs> Look, Small! Hey-hey! <laughs> it's a goatee beard! <laughs> Let's put it on with the rest of the disguise. <laughs> I can't wait for the party now. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> How do I look? Like a right silly Billy. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't recognise you now, Ben. Now I've got the perfect disguise. <laughs> See, See you soon. soon. <laughs> 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 Welcome to our cafe. 